So hello YouTube world. I'm doing a voiceover today, probably because at the time I did this painting a couple of weeks ago, was it last week? Losing track of all time. Probably didn't feel like talking. Um, just got some little focus issues at the beginning of this video. Do apologise, but it soon goes. I'm going to do a swipe and I want to simplify what I did in my last painting. So I'm just putting down a base coat of white house paint here, just on the lower half, and then I'm going in with gold, gold for the sky. I've got gold on the brain at the moment, no idea why. So just giving it um, even coating, quick torch, tidy up the edges. The colours I'm using are, this is a Golden Fluid Jenkins Green. Really nice colour actually. Then I am using a really lovely Golden Fluid Transparent Red Iron Oxide and those two colours just go really well together. <clears throat> that is orange that I've had made up for a while. I have no idea, it's probably PBO actually. That is some leftover Hansa Yellow Light by Golden Fluid. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what's that? That is Golden Fluid Golden Green. Green Gold, it's called. Um, what am I reaching for now? Okay, so I've got a different gold for the swipe and I've added some silicon. Actually that, I got it the wrong way around. So this is the golden fluid here. The gold in the background is just a PBO. So you can see the slightly, and this was a mistake actually, you can see the slightly different colours. Should have used the same brand. But hey ho, live and learn. And I didn't have that much of the golden fluid. I'm, I try and be economical. So I'm just putting a kitchen roll just in the gold actually that's got silicon. And this is real time. I like to do my swipe slightly wavy. And you can see little cells beginning to develop. Which is quite cool, isn't it? So I'll just let you listen to some music, I think. So here you can see I'm just torching a little slowly just to activate that silicon and bring the cells to the top. And really, in an ideal world, you need to do this and walk away. I'd say for about an hour. I get too impatient. And just, obviously, this is speeded up quite a lot um, and you can see the cells getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Next time I do this I'm going to add some PVA to my pouring medium because I want to get it to a point and I actually want it to stop. Right just there would be great wouldn't it? Oops. 
I keep banging my head on the, on the overhead camera. You can see here, I've just taken my stick and I'm just dragging it through the cells to split them. So if you leave this for half an hour, 45 minutes, even longer actually, then I think your cells would stabilise a little bit more. So you can see I've got one of those uh, tapper sticks and I use the thick end and use the thin end and I just take my time and I drag it through, speed it up now. It, it's just a really cool effect. So, can you see this? This is the dried one. It's very goldy. Look at that. <laughs> but it's dried a little bit wonky in places here. So, I'm just going to mix up some greens um, and see if I can enhance and correct a few, a few places. I think the mistake that I made as well is that I used two different golds so I did try and blend them in off camera a little bit but it's still a nice painting um, but I just think I can make it better before I give it a coat of a varnish so here's a quick time lapse